So don't tell Joe, but I crashed the drone. It's gone. But I saved it. Unfortunately, it was a little accident. What's up everyone? My name is Joe Funicello and I am the founder of Soccer Visa. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have more players leaving this weekend uh, before our transfer window opens and we get our 30 players in for 90 days with professional scouts coming in. So our training camp is concluding. And we have some of the first team Limon players who I've taken into the, the center just to train. They'll be playing with us today. Also, Amanda who is Cecilia's daughter. She's been doing really well. She's a very good soccer player. She's going to be heading out to a professional team in Guapolis for a trial. So I have to sit down with her and talk to her and give her advice about a trial. So you'll be seeing that as well. And um, that's it. So enjoy. And remember, if you like the content, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as it helps us tremendously on our journey to being a professional club. So I'm going to see my assistant coach, Elmer, because we're getting closer to when the 30 players arrive for our transfer window session, meaning they're here to get scouted. So we're going to go meet and talk about meeting some clubs around Costa Rica to come scout. Uh, we're starting to make some noise here like we did back in Iceland when I first started Soccer Visa and I moved a lot of players to Iceland and hopefully we do the same for Costa Rica and finding out what players make here. It's a great place to play and the league's growing tremendously. So going now to see him, have some food with him, and um, speak about what we plan out, how we're going to get some scouts out here to sign players. And if you just saw today, Mike Corby was here at a training camp, and uh, me and Elmer thought he did really well, and we sent him to Icarel, which is the top team here in Costa Rica, so, um, or top, the team in the top league in Costa Rica, so opportunities are here, and of course we got to get more clubs, but... Elmer, if we could start a third division team, like really like a team team, and do it right, I think we can sell a lot of players. A lot. Foreigners, like like Tyler and the Corticos. And in the moment one come out, the next one, I tell you, when we was kid, one come out, the first one. Then after all of it, start come out, because we say if you can do it, I can do it too. This is the best tiramisu. Best. And the best pizza. When you have this here. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. Alright, I have good news. Great phone call with the Swedish top club in Alsvenskan. They are coming down here this summer. We're just finalizing the dates. So our next meeting is next week together with their sporting director. And um, looks like they'll be here at the end of July. When we have the ball, just find a pass in the first 10, 15 minutes. Bop, bop, bop. Get yourself going. Positive. Sound good? Let's go. Family on three. Hey, it's quiet, huh? Fuck me. Hey, football, today you can play, tomorrow maybe something happened, you can't play. Enjoy it. Ready? Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Oh, Joe, get out of here. Hey, good. You never played together and there's some good things. And you gave me good intensity. So I'm happy. Happy. Little things we have to work on, so you have to come to training. You have to come to training. Okay, but well done. Hey, Janil, it's your last game. Give Janil a hand. <laughs> Darling, where are you? Last game with us, he's going on trial. May, may, good luck to him. This ugly guy, last training, last game with us. Maybe he stay, I don't know. Well done, boys. It's been a pleasure, huh? And you too, huh? Last game, well done, John. Good penalty, huh? Calm, cool, collected. Yeah, a little? No, a lot. And uh, no matter what, you kept working hard. It's not easy. And people are hard on you, huh? <laughs> yeah. And 
He was hard on you? Yeah. But you know, <laughs> yeah. football and life is about just keep working. Yeah. So I don't know what the future holds for you, but you'll always be part of the family. Thank you. You leave tomorrow at 6? Yes, in the morning. I'm going to miss you. You're a good Thank guy. You. Thank you. Stay away from them crabs, huh? <laughs> Stay away from Patterson, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see you soon. God bless you. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you. Safe travels tomorrow. Quick stop at home. But off the Europe. Hopefully we'll be back. So, uh, Cecilia's daughter Amanda has had aspirations of playing professionally since she was young. And to be honest, in America, the girl system is very good. Um, but with us moving out of the country and, and her having to move with us, um, you know, she hasn't been able to find that competitive uh, side like the women's side in America because the women's side back home is, is actually really good in the US. So, uh, we have her training with our boys here at the training camp and we've gotten her a contract in Italy to play uh, for Trevali, who is one of our partners. But we also got her a trial here in Costa Rica. And if she makes it or she doesn't make it, it's about that experience. So send her on trial, see how she does. She's 16 years old. Um, she's a bit nervous because obviously she's outside of her comfort zone. And cool. But to get her ready for Italy or maybe even to sign here in Costa Rica and a chance to play professionally where the women's league is growing tremendously, why not? So having her play with the Having her play with the boys is is good. So let's see how she does.